Wake Forest at Boston College is another 12 p.m. Eastern time game. And who, boy, the stakes have never been higher for the Demon Deacons. Uh, at least not that I can remember. I mean, Dave Clawson may be in the middle of some of these coaching searches. I'm not hearing his name nearly enough because I think there's a lot of jobs that are open that uh, that should be calling him. But, you know, you get kids in a position that they've never been in. You put a lot of pressure on them. Yes, they should be better than Boston College. But Phil Djokovic is back and playing well. And, yeah, they lost last week to, to, or to, to Florida State. But when I when I look at this, I'm I'm gonna ride with Boston College here to cover the four and a half. I don't know that they win, but I think that defense for Wake Forest is so bad, and Zay Flowers is is gonna have a field day on on this defense. I really think that Boston College can do some good things here. The numbers are so skewed if you look for an entire season because Phil was out for so long. Because their offensive success rate is like number 109. They're better than that. Their offensive points per possession, only 2.9. That's number 118. They're better than that. It, it's tough to, to get a good read on exactly what's going on. And and I think I think Boston College is going to be fired up at home. Jeff Halfley, like I, he's a good coach. That's another name that, that might be brought up for some of these gigs that start opening up. I like Boston College to be able to cover the four and a half at least. And I think they could win the game. I'll still take Wake to win because I, I think this could end up being a last team with the ball wins kind of game. And I would, I would trust Wake Forest to be able to score, but also trust uh, Boston College. So I'll, I'll roll with BC here. Well, one thing I will note, because I, I like that, and I like, I like Phil, and I, I feel like Mulder in the X-Files. Like, I want to believe in what Boston College wants to be. I want, I want to believe in what they want to be. Well, one thing I will note, last week against Clemson, Clemson's defense obviously had a, had a, a pretty big split between rushing and passing, but it was they were 22nd against the pass and 35th against the rush. Boston College is 34th against the pass and 94th against the rush, Gary. I think that Wake Forest yeah. is versatile enough to exploit that defense, even though they've put up some aggregate numbers that are good. The flip side is when you look at what Clemson did against Wake Forest, basically you have a DJ, uh, DJ U run where he should have been tackled four times. And he popped off for 30, extended a drive, they scored. And then Kobe Pace and Will Shipley combined for 303 yards. I don't see Boston College having the rushing attack. 84th in EPA per rush, 76th in rushing success rate. I don't think they have the talent, obviously, that Clemson does, nor the scheme to really press this Wake Forest defense. So I think that it would be easy to see Wake Forest running away with this. Um, my line is eight, and so I'm going to take Wake Forest to cover on the road. I, let me let me get you to explain this to me. Yes, sir. Boston College is number 13 in defensive points per scoring opportunity. They're only giving up 2.92. And yet at the same time, like their success rate is number 68. Like they're not they're not great. This team, for whatever reason, it kind of exemplifies Ben don't break. Is there a way that that works in their favor against Wake Forest or or is Wake Forest just incredibly I mean, they're number 23 in 20-plus in 20 yard plays down the field. But also, I mean, Boston College is number 32 in defensive 20-plus uh, yard plays allowed. That's uh, the, the, number, the number 13 defensive points per opportunity uh, stands out to me because I didn't think that um, they were that good. But, you know, are you holding teams to field goals instead of, uh, well, and I guess creating turnovers too. Yeah, I'm still going to so my this. my <laughs> thought on that, I almost pulled up, I stopped myself because I'm a huge nerd. I almost pulled up my software. I'm going to answer this question later, but I'm not going to type on air. That's very boring. <laughs> it is my theory that Boston College, because I have them at 35th, and, you know, I do weird stuff with points. I give you credit for attempting a field goal. Yes. I wonder if opponents have not just been missing field goals because, like, Boston's That's... windy or something. like. That's a good that, point. I'm sure because because I have them at 29th, 1.87 points per points per drive on defense, and so you know 13th to 29th is not that big a drop off. But in terms of points per quality possession, so that's all possessions. In terms of points per quality possession, and again, my my formula is a little different than the one you're looking at. If it's the one I think it is, but but I have them at 35th, 3.66, and so I wonder if they just have not been the beneficiaries of like terrible field goals. A lot of field goals by their yeah. opponents. A lot of missed field goals because they're giving up. I mean. 49th in quality possession rate is not great, 50%, so one every two. And so that that's what leads me to think maybe something is coming out like that. Yeah. 
that could that could make a lot of sense. That makes way more sense. I mean, they're number four, uh, number forty four in scoring opportunities allowed. It, mine excludes garbage time and all that all that mess. But yeah, that that um, for whatever reason that number kind of stood out to me. So I'll, I'll still take BC because I think they can score on uh, on that Wake defense. And you will roll with Wake Forest. You think they can roll them this weekend? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.